Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. Y'all watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, habla Cindy. Está viendo Deporte TV. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So I just heard my brother Fred Barbershop Conversation video. Uh, he broke some news that Terrence Bud Crawford will be a free agent after 2020 or in 2020. Uh, he stated that, you know, uh, his contract is up in 2020, thus making him a free agent to go over and face the other fighters that's so-called on the other side of the street, quote unquote, right? Uh, if this is the case, I don't know if this is true. I'm just, I'm going off of my brother Fred, Barbershop Conversations info. Um, shout out to him. I trust his, uh, his, his information. I trust his uh, knowledge. So uh, if this is true, you know, we should see Terrence Crawford should make the necessary adjustments so that he can face, you know, the guys on the so-called other side of the street, meeting Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, Errol Spence, uh, Keith Thurman, Manny Pacquiao, all of those types of fighters, right? That's so-called on the other side of the street. This gives them the freedom, you know, uh, 2019 is half, we in the middle of 2019, right? So this gives him all the um, flexibility to make the necessary adjustments so that we could get the fights that we want to see. Uh, with that said, is Terrence Crawford going to stay loyal to ESPN top rank and Bob Arum? Or is he going to make the change so that way we could get the fights or he could get the fights, should I say, that he's been clamoring for? Legacy fights at the welterweight division. All the other welterweights are on the other side of the street. All the other belts are on the other side of the street. He has the WBO title, but the WBC, the WBA, and the IBF are all on the other side of the street, quote unquote. And they can face each other without fighting him, you know, and avoid him. Thus, uh, 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 isolating him, right? But if this is the case, he could fight Mean Machine um, uh, this this upcoming fall or so on, whenever whenever is uh, the, the time. You know, um, I don't know if he's gonna fight this fall. I think Bob Arum said that he plans to have uh, Terrence Crawford fight again in October. So if that is the case, then he could fight Mean Machine. Uh, that would um, pretty much end end the year for Terrence Crawford. And then going into 2020. Terrence Crawford made, needs to make the necessary adjustments, go over to the PBC and face the PBC fighters because that's where all the big names are. That's where the legacy fights are for Terrence Crawford. So if this is the case, then he needs to make the necessary adjustments so that he can get the legacy fights for his career. There's no way in the world after everything that took place and all the um, things that's going on uh, right now that Terrence Crawford goes and re-signs with ESPN and top rank and Bob Arum. There's no way in the world he should be able, he should even be considering doing that. He should want to stay a free agent. Not saying that he has to sign with Al Heyman and the PBC. I'm not saying that he has to sign with the Zone or Eddie Hearn or any of those things, right? I'm saying that Terrence Crawford could take the uh, take his career into his own hands, take the reins into his own hands, you know, and uh, and make the necessary adjustments to go over the ER. Uh, so that way he would uh, have the freedom and the flexibility to face the PBC fighters, right? Uh, so with that said, you know, um, let's see what let's see what Terrence Crawford does. You know, we see how ESPN treats Vasil Lomachenko. We see how ESPN treats uh, Tyson Fury. And uh, Terrence Crawford is uh, widely recognized as the pound for pound best fighter in the world. So with that said, you know, Terrence Crawford definitely needs to make the necessary adjustments to his uh, his contracts, his career, so that way it gives him the flexibility and uh, uh, um, the freedom to go over and fight, you know, uh, the likes of Sean Porter, the Danny Garcia's, the Keith Thurman's, the Manny Pacquiao's now, uh, uh, Errol Spence Jr. It won't be a problem with getting those fights signed, sealed, and delivered, and getting them over the finish line. So Terrence Crawford wouldn't have to worry about a shortage of opponents if this is true, right? So we got to see um, more, more information comes out. I haven't, you know, um, personally heard it. I heard uh, my brother Fred Barbershop Conversations. I heard his um, video. I know Bo Mac was on uh, the Boston Voice. You know, Bo Mac uh, said a few things uh, regarding this nature. Uh, uh, my brother Fred Barbershop Conversation obviously said this. You know, so if uh, this is legitimate, you know, and this is the case, Terrence Crawford, you need to make the necessary adjustments for your legacy. Take the reins in your hands because we see that you, uh, ESPN looks at Ty Tyson Fury. They look at Vasil Lomachenko before they look at Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford is widely recognized as the best fighter, best pound for pound fighter in the world. And there's no way he should be playing second fiddle to anybody, especially not uh, guys from uh, Ukraine and guys from the UK, right, in his own country. 
that's ridiculous. And Terrence Crawford, hopefully Terrence Crawford sees this. You know, uh, Terrence Crawford, you know, will have the opportunity to bolster his legacy into a whole nother life if this is the case and, and he commits to this. So let's see how this plays out, man. I hope that Terrence Crawford does this. I hope that Terrence Crawford, not saying that he has to sign with Al Heyman, not saying that he has to sign with anybody, but just give himself the wiggle room and the flexibility to, and the freedom to make the necessary adjustments. So if he needs to fight one of these guys for his legacy, which he's going to need to do, then he has the freedom to do so. He's not um, contractually bound to anything. But that's all I got, man. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Terrence Bud Crawford is rumored to have uh, his contract come to an end in 2020. So let's see how this all plays out, man. Y'all know what it is, man. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Bell Sports TV. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Bell Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media World. Make sure you like and share this video. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. So blue, black